Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be doing a deck review on the Pluma deck. Um, let's get right into the box design. So first of all, as you can tell, it says Bicycle on the top part of the deck, as you can tell. Um, it says Trusted since 1885. It all has these um, angel-like wings on the right and left side of the decks. Uh, it has the spade logo on it with an, a cool, really cool design. It also says Pluma. And uh, you can notice on the background, the blue background, they uh, added in some detailed designs on the background, as you can tell. Uh, if I show you right, right here, you can see there's very detailed designs. On the on, on the right side of the deck, it says made in USA, the spade logo, air cushion finish. Um, the angel-like wings do continue to the side of the deck. And on the other side, it says the same thing, air cushion finish, made in USA. Um, same, same thing on both sides. Uh, on the bottom, on, on, on the back of the deck, you get the back design as you can tell it is very very detailed um, you can see faces of people and the colors are a kind of a bluish tone it also has a dark brown I do believe yes it's dark brown uh, as the background and also the color white I, on the bottom of the deck it just has the barcode and some writing on top it says a uh, pluma face and also poop pluma, pluma back black yeah pluma back and this is the you have the normal bicycle seal so let's get right into the deck get in the deck deck back design sorry uh, I'm missing a card okay so the cards you receive is the normal um, get in the game ad card with just different colors to suit the theme of the deck. Yeah, uh, same goes to the social media sites, and then you you do get the rules card where you can check the website or the app of Bicycle, and that's the back design. The back of the deck, you you do get the jokers, uh, but however the joker comes in black and white, which is quite a shame. Uh, if they uh, made, it just added in the colors of the uh, the theme of the deck, then it would be nicer in a way. But the the joker came in black and white, and you also have the guaranteed joker. So let's get into the other cards. First of all, this is Ace of Spades. Uh, it's a spice call uh, with a very uh, nice font. You have the Ace of Spades design, uh, the spade design. Sorry, like the um, the box right here. Similar design. Uh, you also have the United States Playing Card Company made in the USA. So that is Ace of Spades. Moving on to the the spade suit. As you can tell, the spade is quite thinner and has a different font approach compared to the normal um, spade in other decks. And as you can tell, the pips are quite spaced out and they're smaller. So here are the spade suits. As you can tell, it's it looks very different and unique. And here are the royalties for the spades. So that's the jack of spades, the queen of spades, the king of spades. And now moving on to the diamonds. The colors are quite darker um, compared to the uh, standard and rider back decks. Uh, and the pips and the pips are also 
as as you can tell smaller and the diamonds are quite fatter in a way if that's the word to describe it so that's the cards it looks really neat here are the royalties for diamonds jack of diamonds queen of diamonds and king of diamonds so here is the clubs uh, the king the queen the jack and also the spade the <laughs> clubs sorry uh, again it looks a bit fatter compared to the normal bicycle decks that you see or the normal um, clubs you get in normal decks uh, here is the hearts king queen jack and again the the hearts are quite fatter and that is what all you receive uh, uh, um the the hearts are also the color of the hearts are also quite dark like the diamonds so let's get into the handling of this deck okay let's get into the handling of this deck i'll just mix the cards up Let's do a pharaoh with this deck. Okay, that's not a really good pharaoh. There's a bunch of cards right there. Um, the cards are, as usual, at the finish, uh, which this, which means this the stock is quite good. Um, card springs are great. The one thing I do dislike about this deck is that the borders are too thick and when you do card fans you can't really see the back design all you see is mostly white and same goes for the face of the deck the the pips are too spaced out which means that if you do fans then well you just see half of the, fan, of the deck and the other half you don't you just see white it's basically kind of like doing the blank fan on the other hand so that's the thing to note about buying this deck is that doing fans is not a good thing but the the design the design is is quite quite intricate but just that the the borders are just too thick the handling is usually great like the other bicycle decks that they produce um, everything is great feels great in your hands and just just the problem with uh, the spaced out pips and also um, thick borders except for that this deck is great so and that is the Pluma deck review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching.